What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise News, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where this is the ultimate road going variant of the KTM Expo unveiled as the GTXR. Teased and spied on a handful of occasions in recent weeks, the Expo GTXR is very similar to the GTX and GT2 race cars that the Australian company builds. Now it will set back owners a cool 284,900 euros or $282,000 and just 100 examples are expected to be produced annually. Now underpinning the Expo GTXR is a carbon fiber monocoque and a high strength tubular steel frame that contributes to the car's 1130 kilogram dry weight now while ktm could have been excused for equipping the car with an engine producing no more than 300 horsepower it has instead opted for an audi derived 2.5 liter turbocharged five cylinder that is good for 500 horsepower at 6350 rpm and 581 newton meters of torque at 5550 rpm now coupled to this engine is a seven speed dual clutch transmission that sends its power through the rear wheels thanks to a limited slip differential. And these figures propel the car to 100 kilometers or 62 miles per hour in just 3.4 seconds and through to a 174 mile per hour, 280 kilometer top of speed. Now while maximizing on the track performance was obviously a priority for KTM when developing the Expo GTX-R, it says that it's perfect as a daily driver thanks to the large 96 liter Liter fuel tank, electronically assisted progressive power steering, and option of 3.5 inch 9 centimeter hydraulic lift system. Now, downforce figures have been announced. However, KTM notes that in addition to the obvious downforce generation components like the massive rear wing, rear diffuser, and front splitter, the Expo GTXR also features a floor section designed to maximize ground effects generated by the front splitter and routed to the floor, creating a seal of air beneath the car. Now, braking comes courtesy of lightweight fixed mono block eight piston calipers and steel rotors, and customers seeking the ultimate in performance can opt for ceramic brakes. Now, the car suspension has been sourced from sacks and center locking wheels are an optional extra. Now found in the cabin, the Expo GTXR has a removable carbon fiber steering wheel that houses the digital gauge cluster and adjustable pedal box with optional rear camera system, a Bluetooth audio system, LED lighting, air conditioning, and even a small glove box. And the latest Expo rides on 19 inch front, 20 inch rear Oz racing wheels with 23535R19s and 29535R20 tires respectively. So what do you guys think about the new Expo GTXR? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in rankings. More people can see it. And we have a bigger discussion on KTM's new street legal track toy, the Expo GTXR. Now with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel and enjoy what I do here, make sure you guys check the links in the description below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, my Venmo, and my Patreon. Just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel, I appreciate that extra love, guys. Thank you so much. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch, where you guys can get t-shirts, stickers, tank tops, hoodies, everything Ron's Rise is there. I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. See everything I'm posting, car memes, pictures, and videos that doesn't always make it here to the channel and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video and with that said you guys be blessed have a great day and we will talk to you guys in the next ron's rise news video peace